Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Kids Python Challenge. So let's continue what we were doing last time. So where were we? Yeah, right. We learned to um, a new concept, list comprehension. It's an interesting way. So let's see the code and review it. Um, so open ex3, connect it. And first, we learned how to make lists. The basic way is to prepare an empty list. And every time you want to add it to the list, use append. This name dot append new element. That's the basic way to make a new list. But last time we learned another way, which is use list comprehension. The basic um, formal form is like this. So n for n in range something or n for, yeah, out of previously prepared list, we can calculate and rearrange a new list, reproducing a new list. Or we can use for statement here plus if, for example, to select only the um, elements that fits the condition you want. Okay, so uh, using that, we learned how to um, make a list of uh, divisible or factors of 36. Okay, so what was the um, homework? How many factors does 48 have? That's simple, right? So let's do it. Uh, what, what do you want? Uh, maybe shall we use K this time? K for K in range one, two, we want to check up to 48. So we write 49 here. So if um, 30, 48 is divisible by K, add it to the list. Okay, that's the basic way to get the list. Okay, let's call it L. And then, yeah, we can check L. And also see how many, yeah, you remember how to um, calculate how many elements are there in the list? Yeah, that's L-E-N, L. Okay, maybe we will rearrange the order so that count first and then the list itself, okay? So this will give that the list of factors of 48, and then how many are there in the list? So it says 10, right? This is very convenient, right? So the answer is 10, but maybe we can change so that we can do any number for, is, yeah. So for example, in that case, what shall we, should, should we write here? We should write N plus one, right? And then we should replace 48 with N. So this will give the same answer. If you want to change it to 36, it will give a list of factors of 36. If you want 120, that's also possible. Okay, there's many factors like 10, 12, 15, 12, blah, 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 and it has 16 factors. This is a very interesting way to do something new, okay? Okay, so let's, go to today's lesson. Lesson 19, function to return factors. So last time we did it with list comprehension. So let's make a function to get the same result. Define a function that returns a list of factors using a loop. Okay, maybe you know how to define, how to declare a function and call it. In this time, we want to use a parameter to meaning about which number we want, okay? Stop the video if you think you can do it and do it yourself. Okay, are you back with me? So let's do it. So defining a function can be done by def func, okay? Def, that's a keyword, uh, factors, okay? And then one parameter here for n. 
and colors. And then the set using a loop. So maybe we'll do it. L equals empty. And then for say I, K in range N plus one, colon, return. If N is divisible by K, then L append K. Okay, this will finish it. But then we want to return a list of factors. So here we can use return statement. Maybe we don't need a space. So return L. Okay, this is how to define a function to return a list of factors. Okay, let's check it out. So it produces nothing, that's fine. But if we call factors, like factors, say 36, good. This will return, oh, something is wrong. Sorry about that. Integer division or more by zero. Okay, K should start from one. That's right, I made it wrong. Should start one, of course. Yeah, st should start from one to n plus one. Okay, let's redefine it. And then let's run it. Aha, I made a mistake. So this is a list of factors for 36, which is exactly the same as this one. Uh, or up here, maybe. Uh, okay, maybe we can change this to 36 and check that this is as the same as this. Okay, if you write it 48, it will give a list of factors for 48. Good. So then maybe we can change it to write it simpler using list comprehension. Can you try it? Okay, so maybe I can do it. I can use different names, but I can use the same name to overwrite it. So one way is to make this way. Okay, just copy this. L equals, yeah, we can just copy this and write here. and return L. Okay, so we use different names, maybe factors two, okay. And then something is wrong. Return, why do I make misspell it, typo, okay. So let's check factors two will produce this exactly the same result as last time. So these are equivalent and this is simple. Or we can write even shorter, even more compact by writing this way. And then this is just a single line. This is exactly the same as the previous case. Good, okay. Use it to get factors of 36. How many are there? Oh, no, this is what we did, already did. So maybe shall we use the second one? Or shall we rename it as factors? Okay, so this is exactly what are. Um, so maybe in this case, L equals factors. Oh, well, maybe we can use just exactly len factors 36. This will do. Be sure to match the parentheses. Okay, so this will give nine, which is exactly the same as this one. Good. What's next? Print factors of each number from one through 20. Okay, can you try it? Print one by one. Okay. 
Let's do it. It's simple, right? For I in range one through 20, right? So I write 21 here and then print. Maybe we can use to make it more readable. We can use um, F string to write this way. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Uh, sorry, I should use this one. Of course, there are many ways to write it differently, but this is maybe good enough. Okay, let's run it. Again, I made a mistake. Sorry about that. Factors are. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, F I. Ah, here. Sorry. Hmm. That's right. Maybe in this case, I should use double quote here and single quote here because I want to use double single quote for. And then this is good enough. So one's factors are one, two's factors are one, two, three, eight, one, two, four, eight, twelve, one, two, three, four, six, twelve, uh, eighty, da, da, da. It seems great. I seems correct. Okay. So I hope you're familiar, now familiar with defining a function and with some parameters, also how to use return state. Okay. Are you okay with it? Okay, that's all for today. Homework. Find a count of factors for one through 20. It's almost the same as the last one. Okay, so be sure to come back. Uh, hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.